<clears throat> so what's up everybody? Mobius N7 back here with another uh, moto vlog. So today's kind of weird. Uh, it is currently September 9th at almost one o'clock in the afternoon and we got some uh, doom looking skies right now. Those fires that I've mentioned previously, uh, they've exploded. I mean some of them have made progress towards containment but I guess one of them really exploded overnight last night resulting in a layer a thick with like four C's thick uh, layer of smoke um, yeah it's just dark it's 1 p.m. but it feels like either 5 a.m. or 7 p.m. take your pick and right now I'm heading out to get some lunch um, and I thought wow this is a some pretty interesting skies that we got as you can see it's dark people have their headlights on mostly like you can actually see my headlights bouncing off all the reflective signs like my LED headlights designed to light stuff up at night is just really lighting everything up seriously it feel it, it feels like not the time that it actually is you know So the place where I'm picking up my food is actually down, was actually down the street that way, but uh, I want to ride around a little bit. I just ordered it, so it'll take a while for it to be ready. So we're gonna head out, maybe Mare Island, and then check out. Just take a really slow way back. I mean, just look at this, the sky. Okay, maybe not all the way to Mare Island. I kind of want to go through the waterfront. Normally with this helmet, this is my full face scorpion helmet, I have a tinted um, visor because I think it looks cool and I usually only ride during the day. But I figured uh, now was a good time to put the original clear visor back on so, you know, I can see. So I have a gator on under my helmet just to, you know, keep my, you know, keep, keep as much ash and dust away from my mouth as possible, but it's really fogging up my glasses pretty badly. Sometimes it just sucks wearing glasses.
Okay, the past few days have been pretty um, warm is an understatement. So starting on, I think, Friday, uh, Saturday, and Sunday into Monday and Tuesday, we were having over 100 degrees heat. And that was, it just sucked. But now, it's really chilly <laughs> because because of the the smoke and how thick this uh, smoke is it's actually blocking out the sun obviously so my temperature gauge is actually giving me a reading of about seven oh, yeah like right below 70 degrees all right so i, I kind of moved my gator a little bit so my glasses don't fog up but anyways as i was saying um my temperature gauge is giving me a reading of low, like upper 70s, lower 70s. Well, definitely a lot lower than what they've been the past few days. So it's really chilly. It's nice, but would be a lot nicer without this orange Mars sky, you know? So depending on when this goes up, uh, before or after the Rebel Vlog series I got, uh, here we are back again at the waterfront, or this is maybe the first time recording through the waterfront. Let's check the camera. So yep, there's Mare Island. This is the waterfront at Vallejo. Again, one of the nicer looking areas. Pop into one of the parking lots here. Not going to stay long. Just want to get a general look at this place. Uh, it's been a while since I stopped here. Yeah, as you can see. adjust this gator real quick but yeah anyways so over there we have Mare Island there over there we have Mare Island those are all the ferries so Mare Island you know if you don't know used to be a shipyard a US naval shipyard that was decommissioned quite some time ago right and so right now there's just a bunch of these um, kind of industrial looking buildings plus some housing behind them and the houses are pretty nice Mythbusters did a lot of filming in that area too and then if you've seen this gif of uh, the Green Ranger kind of walking down with walking down like an a sidewalk that looks like that uh, with Godzilla popping up in the background this is where that was filmed I don't know why I just know for a fact that this is where it was filmed so let's continue a little further along this ride. And then right there. Oh, this is a this is a bar and restaurant over here, front room. Another bar and grill. And then this is the ferry building. There's the ferry terminal. No ferry, no ferries currently. Yeah, I had to roll my neck gator like all the way down just to keep my glasses from fogging up. So this is more of the waterfront. Uh, this is the <laughs> looks like the less well maintained section of the waterfront. A lot of pigeons. It's just strange being it being, you know, middle of the day and all these businesses have their lights on full. Oh, and that's my air corporation. They, that's where they sell uh, a bunch of cookware. It's kind of weird. 
it's just weird having that here in the city. <laughs> Yeah, it's brightening up, brightening up, kind of less doom, more Fallout New Vegas. So this road actually turns into an interstate. You know, I, you'd think I'd be used to how loud Harleys are, but, I don't know, they, they always just seem super loud. Alright, so this is actually turning into I-780, uh, with a way to get onto I-80, right here. This way goes towards San Francisco. Uh, if I were to take that exit up there, that would go up north to Sacramento. So we're gonna we're gonna hop on this freeway for just a little bit and then get back on to city streets. Oops. Okay. Thought I had a sixth gear there. Sometimes I forget I only have five. So essentially, um, the goal of what I'm doing right now, if you can call it that, is just to get our way back to Sonoma, Sonoma Boulevard. That's where the restaurant I'm getting my food from is. Uh, yeah. So last night, I actually didn't get a whole lot of sleep. Um, I went to sleep at around 3 in the morning, woke up at 4.30, drenched in sweat, just in time to uh, feel and close a nosebleed before I bled all over my pillows and then went back to sleep at around 6 woke up again at 11 and it was just so dark that it caught me off guard like I literally jumped out of my bed because I thought I had slept through the entire day that was fun So here we go, first cargo in the top case, ramen, and chicken katsu. Nice.